The Social Democratic Party is grappling with its most serious crisis since Zoran Milanovic took leadership. In an interview aired on Croatian television on Friday, the Prime Minister said he was gearing up for a fight with his political opponents within the party, accusing them of obstructing his work through the media. The party's leadership has decided to focus on the upcoming elections for the European Parliament. However, Milanovic says he plans to address the rift within the SDP after the poll. The Prime Minister added that he would fight the introduction of a property tax but that plans to tax the interest on savings would go forward. The rate, he said, would be one of the lowest in Europe. The latest data show that pensioners outnumber fully employed workers in Croatia if public sector employees are not taken into account. The country's private sector employs 1,165,000 workers, while 1,209,000 pensions are paid to retirees each month. The system only raises half of the amount it needs to cover pensions from contributions from those currently employed, while the state has to borrow the rest. The trend is worrisome, but Labor and Pension Minister Mirando Mrsic says the system is sustainable. The State Electoral Commission has reported that only about one-third of Croatia's political parties have submitted their annual financial reports, as is required by law. All parties and independents must file their paperwork by the 1st of March. Of the 147 registered political parties, only 55 have done so, and 13 of them missed the deadline. The numbers are similar for meeting the requirement of making the filings public. 90 political parties have yet to publish their reports. British celebrity chef and presenter Rick Stein has recently visited Split, Korčula, Stan and Dubrovnik while filming the BBC series Rick Stein's Byzantine Odyssey. Croatian cuisine has come as a pleasant surprise to him. He says he was expecting something similar to Italian fare, but not as good. However, he's delighted with what he's tried. Simple and local, he says, is what he likes best when it comes to his culinary journeys around the world. And wherever he has gone, Britons have followed. The same is likely to happen here, he says. We have uh, three million people watch the program back in the UK. And I've noticed on the internet that wherever we go in the world, some tour operator is saying, this is where he went, next go here, and, and they sell the tours. In sports, Primorje and Mladost will play Game 2 of the playoffs for the Croatian Water Polo Championship this evening. Rijeka won the first game 13-7. The Czech Republic are the winners of the National Pairs Racing Championship of Croatia, Slovenia and the Czech Republic, held at the Millennium Speedway in Donji Kraljevic. Jurica Pavlic gave the best individual performance, winning all five of the heats he took part in. This afternoon's forecast calls for sunny skies for most of the country. There may be some passing clouds in the north over the next couple of hours with a chance of light rain. Mild breezes inland on the coast, a mild southwesterly, turning to a southeasterly by evening on the northern sections of the shore. Temperature highs will range from 22 to 26 degrees Celsius throughout the country.